Hi, I'm Michael Brown for Rescue TV, and on the beauty bubble couch today, we have the gorgeous Sally Odomita. Thank you for how having are you? me. I'm good, how are you? Looking stunning as always. Thank you, thank you. You really raise the bar, don't you? Oh, just a, a touch of lip balm, as I like to say, nothing. <laughs> I love that. Now, your life has been very extraordinary, from TV, you know, personality presenter, then obviously going through breast cancer, which yep. we can touch on. Now, back in the moment, and yep. I think you just looking better than ever. Oh, so thank you. <laughs> it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you. Good talking to Talking all about beauty. My favourite topic. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So we have your makeup bag, and I yes. can tell, ladies, we have a lot of products here <laughs> and there. But we're talking about your top three today. The, okay. the three that you really love in your handbag. Okay. And, and we've got a few here. So first of all, let's talk about skin with you. Now, I know you're now the ambassador for, for Renew. Yeah, I am the ambassador. Skin for me is everything, because I think that's where it starts. If your skin's not amazing, you're always just trying to cover up. So yeah, I agree. Um, I, you know, cleanse um, every day. And then what I do is I use Renew, basically. It's just a gel. Yeah, it's a gel. And I use it straight after I've cleansed. I cleanse with like a Dermalogica face wash, mm -hmm. wash excuse me, which which I mix with um, either Model Co's macadamia oil oh, nice. or a rosehip oil. I like that ah, kind of an good. oily cleanser. I good like tip. that. Yeah. yeah so I so it's good to know you can mix products yeah. together, which is really good. I think it's really good because I find the oil actually helps get rid of, of the course, makeup. Yeah, the makeup so, it's so much it's gentle and yeah. dermal logic is gentle anyway, but yeah. I just I love oil for the skin. That's and great. then I put this on, it's just it's a skin revitalizing and gel. And gels are good textures. So do you like a light texture normally? I do like a light texture. And I think the thing that is important for me, the reason I love it, is because your skin renews, right? So yeah. all cells in the body renew, we all know that. Usually it's every twenty eight days. That's right. And what happens You're is good. as you get older, <laughs> I don't, well, as you get on, I'm 41. It's not 28 days anymore. It yeah, kind of it yeah. drags out, and that's what kind of that's where you get the fine lines. That's where so you get you have the to aging. Manually, kind of, you yeah, know, so start circulating the skin. Basically, and you can see it's all natural, so it doesn't hurt, doesn't irritate, mm. and it just helps the skin do what it naturally does. That's good. Renew itself. Yeah. So that's why I love and it. And gel textures are great for makeup application so for the morning good. as well. I do it Perfect. morning and night, twice a day. I love it. Now, one of my one of my personally favorite makeup brands, Tom Ford, mm. and we have this gorgeous color here. Like I know, you, I mean, say you're going nude but I've seen you in some beautiful I bold lips so a, a strong look particularly I think if I am kind of if I am limited for time yeah. I'll do two things lash, oh, slash lip that's yeah. it I'll just do a strong lip um, this one's Narcotic Rouge. I also like yeah. Wild Ginger. Just a strong red. They're a great red. texture though, aren't they, these lipsticks? I use budge. them a lot in my makeup don't kit. Don't budge, yeah. don't you reckon? Yeah, very good. I love, love it. Love, love, But love, you're so love. right. If time is an issue, lap, uh, lap. <laughs> <laughs> lash and lip is just absolutely perfect. Yeah, really, because really you don't need too much. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so I do get your makeup done. It's like, oh no, darling. Like, no. Like, but you it can... works. It works. And that's why people see celebrities and go, wow. Look at that. Half the time the makeup that I do on people in the media or, or whatnot, the makeup hasn't taken that long. Really? Because we can really get the skin perfect, add a beautiful lash and a brow. A brow. Which we're coming, we're coming to. to. The brow. <laughs> and that's perfect. All and about the, the Amy brow. Jean eye cream. Now I haven't used this product, so I'd love okay. you to tell us about so this. So this is really good. So Amy Jean is like a I call her the brow queen. Um, and after I had chemo, obviously I lost all my hair and mm. um, or during chemo I lost all my hair and afterwards my, the, my eyebrows did not grow back as much as okay. I probably, you know. Yeah. Back in the heyday, so um, I uh, use this. It's called. It's a putty. It's called a putty, yeah. and I use a little brush, like, a, like with a brush. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit of a. Um, I don't know if gel is the right word. I'd say it's like a gel. It's kind it of. It looks a bit like a gel like texture. That. Yeah. So most of the brows are gel. Softer yeah. than a pencil. Good color. Really good color doesn't move and you know my tip for eyebrows move. you don't have to go i have to have the exact same hair color because normally your eyebrows are not the same color as your hair True. so it's good to go that little bit yep. lighter yeah, i would do I rather lighter. than going darker or matching because then your brows can be too much of a feature yeah and it's like hello the brows are standing out a little That's bit too it. much You've got to have balance and i think <laughs> if it's too strong if it's too um dark it can be quite aging yeah of course so i quite like lifted. that <laughs> yeah we, no one wants to look we love a lid. Um, so I love that and that's a great one. It's a really, really, really good product. And it's like it stays put too, which is it good for the brows. It does not <laughs> move. I tell you, it doesn't move. But also, I um, Amy Jean taught me to put it on with like fine brush yeah, strokes so that yeah. you're not just sort of, you're not getting that pencil. Oh yeah, you have to feather. Do a little feather and that, that kind of mimics real hair. 
Now, going into the chemo area, like it yes. would have been obviously quite an experience losing things like eyebrows and whatnot. So did you learn from anyone in that time to do your makeup or did you already have um, tips from your TV day? I already had, I already knew how to do my makeup from, mm. I guess, from TV. I worked on um, Today Tonight That's and, right. we, and you did your own makeup for that. Oh, so okay. I did my own makeup for like five years. Wow. And I did Sydney Weekender before that for like four years. So I always did my own makeup. Mm. So, um... I kind of knew what to do, but it's different because I think also what happens is not only does your skin, you know, change um, texture, but also mm. colour. My skin oh, okay. kind of, is almost very um, grey, I would say. We're, yes. we're quite yellow for a while and then almost grey. Well, it's like anyone that's not well in general. Yeah. They don't look that you bright, look fresh really colour tone. Off. Yeah, So you kind of um, drain them, I guess. Yeah, and then when I lost my hair, um, I was still doing makeup then. It was when I lost mm. my eyebrows and eyelashes that I really... It's you That's realize you realize how actually how much they frame the face and how much they of hold course. the face and suddenly you looked incredibly sick like mm. like, like as soon as you lose those two things it's, it's, it's glaringly obvious that so finding the right product wrong. must be really important because there's so yeah. many on the market and I know for myself some just get you know this this pencil they've been using for years but it doesn't obviously go then to the new look of the no. of the face with my hair there no exactly and I think for, um. Was I, uh, I generally didn't wear a lot of makeup. I think okay. I just, yes, kind of, I was so unwell. Yeah, I didn't true. really kind of go anywhere that needed it. I think I generally was doing a little bit of base, a tiny bit of gloss. Mm. Um, and, just and so you, you feel like there's you something. You just feel like there's something. Yeah. Um, and I would try to fabricate. It's funny because you can't make eyelashes. You know, mm, like you can course. make an eyebrow, but you can't yeah, make eyelashes. Yeah, true. Um, what, what do you, know, you do? Yeah, exactly. It's like you're just These days we've got through. so much information. There's so many tutorials on the market. You yeah. know, we can always, you know, find tips here and there. And also false lashes are always good, which is, is great. So and obviously now in TV, I obviously you wear the makeup lashes. every day and the I false, love lashes. false lashes. Yeah. They're so easy to do. They like are. I find them really that's the thing that I'll do if I've got like a one strong lip and then I want to do a lash. I'll just get a strip lash because it's. I find it less yeah. fiddly than the individual. And individuals are great for me to do as a you makeup see, artist I do because them. we can do them really quickly. But for yourself, they're quite hard to go around the lash yeah. that way. So a strip right. is definitely strip. easier for yourself at home. Yeah. Very easy. Now, lovely. what about off duty, Sally? We always see you looking so glam. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> and God, fabulous thank you. hair, great thank makeup. You. And obviously, TV is a different type of makeup again. Totally. Has to be a little bit, you know, heavier for the lighting. It is. But how about when you get home? Like, oh. obviously, I have a little daughter, and we got home. Yeah. Right? Go to the gym, you know. Strip, I like to strip it off. My favorite you, you hairstyle. Clean straight away. Clean straight away. Oh, take it all good. off. Um, top knot. That's my favorite. Yep. I love a top knot. <laughs> it's um, easy, but it still looks good sometimes. I like you know. my hair off my face. Yeah. I generally, I think, because I wear it down a lot. I love my hair off my face. Um, in, top knot in, is also a fashionable look, though. Yeah. So you can still go to the gym and still be fabulous. I love <laughs> it. Or I'll do like a middle part, really strong center, yeah. and I'll pull it down and, yeah. and do that really like a low bun. Um, and then I'll do, if, if I'm going out for dinner or with Marcus or lunch with girlfriends or whatever, I, I've got a couple of different things. I do love a strong lip, like we yeah. said, but I also like a strong eye, like yeah. a really kind of a smoky eye, which I can do. Yeah. I'll get, um, I've got this actually, it's like a, a MAC liquid liner yes, okay. and I'll do the liquid liner, but then I'll also get a, like a, like a pencil like this yeah. and I put the liner on oh, my... Oh, do you smudge? And then I smudge. Good idea. I love it. That's that, a and great it stops idea. me from having to carry multiple... Multi-purpose yeah. products is all the rage. And even me as a makeup artist, yes, I have the access to so many products. But nine times out of ten, my kit is quite small in front of someone yeah. because I try and use multiple things in different ways. It's perfect. And I love that you just said to me before that most of the time you do your own makeup. Almost That's always. wonderful. I think it's great that we don't yeah. always have to think, oh no, she's on TV, she always gets it done. No. But even in your personal life you do it yourself when oh. you're going to events and launches Ooh. and red carpets like that's nine brilliant. times out of ten not like unless it can be done at home you don't done. always need to have a makeup and I think too it's like work out your face it's like you know so say for example for my sister um, you know, we look so different. So she has big eyes. So I'm like, if you learn to do your eyes, mm. that's all you need. Exactly. You know what I mean? Whereas for me, it's like, I don't know what I need. I need Focus on one area, yeah. perfect it, yeah. and then work with yeah. it. And lastly, Sally, your new blog. Well, it's not really new, yeah. but you kind of relaunched yes. it, haven't you? Yes, we've had a so rebranding, Swish. Swish. Yeah, um, Swish sounds which wonderful. we are loving. It's um, The growth has been insane, and I always, you know, whenever we get, you know, um, we come in the morning. There's always those emails yeah. from people going, "Oh my God, I love this, or I oh, bought this, wonderful. or I, you know, read this post, or whatever." So, what, what what can people expect when they go to your blog? Like, what's the main about, kind of feel um, for it? it? 
In the sentence, it's lifestyle lux for less. So basically, oh. look great, feel great, have a great life. We all need won't, that. Won't cost you the earth. Amazing. And, the, and our job is to edit and curate it and find everything that you need. So whether it's sounds beauty, wonderful. fashion, home, health, yeah. um, we're here to give it to you on a palette. And that sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, lifestyle lux, you know, for yeah. less is just absolutely beautiful. That's right. Amazing. It's all about a great life without, <laughs> without breaking the bank. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here on the Beauty Bubble Couch. No Don't forget, ladies, multi-purpose products. Really mix things together to create new textures like Saturday does in the shower with the cleanser. Yeah. And you can do your makeup at home and look this good. And, and don't forget to wipe off the hand <laughs> yes. before you go out. <laughs> yeah, but, it, no, but wearing white, white, especially. Thank yes. you so much and we'll see you Michael. soon. See you soon.